into the bioreactor room. Seamless. No one can tell that I walked all the way back to the last save point and then stopped for several days because I didn't have time to record the ending that day. What's that? Is that the boss chamber? Whoa, crazy. <laughs> it is interesting being able to see it. It's so dark, though. It hasn't powered up yet. This is, yeah, this is the weird Cthulhu room. Oh yeah, it, it, it tricked me again. It's so textured and veiny looking that I keep thinking it's like some kind of tentacle. And it's like... A tree, I think. My brother just set an aquarium like this, too. It's like it's a long aquarium with a tree branch thing coming out of one side specifically. They keep giving me another one of these. Oh right, because the- oh and there's a safe point in here, damn it. <laughs> I forgot there's like a whole room of stuff in here. Oh no. What will I do with all the stuff? No! Inventory management! Ah, ah it doesn't stack. No. <laughs> no. I forgot there's a bunch of stuff in this room. Is there more? Is there more? Clicking on that probably ends the game, kind of. Research diary. Embryo growth observations. After the G embryo was implanted in the subject, we made a 50 centimeter incision from the chest to the abdomen and began our observations. With the help of the medical team, the subject's consciousness level was kept between 15 lucid GCS 10. However, the subject's consciousness level deteriorated and further observation was deemed unnecessary. The subject was then disposed of. 501. The G-virus was administered to subject 501. 501 mutated in the G-form was introduced to a group of 30 test subjects. After, 20, after 2 hours, 36 minutes, it was observed that all but one of the test subjects had been implanted with an embryo. All subjects were disposed of. One subject broke down during the experimentation and took their own life. Subject 628-639. We administered G-virus to subject 628, who had shown slight resistance to the T-virus. The virus then introduced the subject 6... Uh, interest, the virus was then introduced to subject 639, with whom 628 had a close relationship. 628 showed some signs of resistance, but had been implanted with an embryo after 24 minutes. T-virus resistance does nothing to stop the mental deterioration caused by the G-virus. Yeah. Blah. Blah, blah, blah. The, uh... It's sad that Sherry grows up with no parents. But it's kind of for the best that the parents don't survive. Because they were monsters, basically. And they were experimenting on live humans. Uh, and transforming them into horrible creatures. For fun! For work. For fun. Yes, no, both. Kind of. Basically. Kind of. God, I have so many- I have so many herbs. What do I do with all these herbs? Do I need you anymore? Maybe- I- I don't remember. I probably need to open something with that eventually, technically. Nothing else to mix the big gunpowder I have with, because they gave me another one and I mixed that one. Maybe better to have a heal than more shotgun shells, but the shotgun shells will quickly deplete and I'll be able to pick up more things in the room. I don't know. I was overstuffed last time too and I couldn't pick up everything in the room and I don't really remember the context, but really, if I'm in such excess, nothing really matters, I guess. So, click. Huh. That was easy. Alright, now back to Ada. Attention. Unauthorized removal of a level 4 virus detected. Facility lockdown initiated. Self-destruct sequence will begin when lockdown is complete. A 
Attention, unauthorized removal of a level 4 virus detected. Facility lockdown initiated. Self-destruct sequence will begin when lockdown is complete. Attention, unauthorized... this thing William. Why? It shouldn't have been like this. It's Umbrella's fault, this whole mess. You're Umbrella too. You're telling me you weren't involved in this. Yes. But we never meant for this to happen. Then tell me everything. Right from the start. You don't get away that easily. Good God, William. What have you done? So you made this monster. We made the G-Virus, but we never intended this to- You can spin it any way you want. You're still responsible. What the hell? This is probably the closest he ever gets to looking like a normal creature of some sort that might exist somehow, as opposed to like... Oh boy. As opposed to like a just a horrible blob of misshapen nightmares. We're using the Matilda on purpose. Isn't this fun? Uh, more fire. I'll put more fire on your fire. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, do you have more eyeballs for me to shoot? <laughs> yeah, he does. Oop. I uh, oh. think we're about done with that. All right, uh, blurp. Oh, I didn't reload it. I would have had more slots. Oh, God. Damage taken. Damage taken. Oh, I forgot to hit shift. <laughs> I forgot to hit shift. Wow. Uh, is there even a way to dodge that? Or do I have to hit him on a weak spot in that time? I wasn't sure how much time I had. I don't see any weak spots. Whoop. Whoop. Oop. Whoop, 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 whoop. I... <laughs> Slowest character ever. Run! Jesus! 
Oh, I'm sitting here like, does the shift button even work? Wow, there goes all my healing items already. Alright, the shotgun seems like a piece of garbage. Let's try to use it to maximum efficiency right now. Okay, I don't really like that. Uh oh. <laughs> wow, he took that pretty well. Did I win? I think I won. Yeah, I think. There we go. There we go. That didn't go very well. <laughs> I think I took way more hits this time than last time. Admittedly, last time I used the... the Magnum. Right, I didn't use the Magnum at all this time. Do I even want to use the Magnum in the next fight with the minigun? I should have done that instead of the shotgun. There's just so many guns. <laughs> ah, more healing. Although if I get an item box, which I do, then I can get all my other healing anyway. So no biggie. Coming up every side really quick. Checking all the things. Still have lots of flamer ammo. That's more than one still, right? Isn't there like a little bit hanging off somewhere? Uh, oh no, because it would be slash, uh, it wouldn't be slash zero. Oh my goodness. Wonder if I have room for everything this time. That's a lot of ammo for the gun I don't have on me. Yep. Next box, I put away the Matilda and bring back out the gun that has 60 shots for it now, I guess. Uh, no stuff, friend. Yep, it's it's blue. Let's go on and get. Oh, Jesus. That looks bad. Feels worse. Believe me. About what you said, I know how much I believe. Just tell me you'll destroy that G sample. No, it's evidence. It's going to the FBI. <laughs> you trust that bitch? What's that supposed to mean? She's not FBI. She's a mercenary. She's gonna sell it. The G virus is gonna go to the highest bidder. Oh, bullshit. I hope you're right. But if the G virus gets into the wrong hands, Went way worse for her this time. What role does Sherry play in this version of the story? Like, where is Sherry right now? Did she ever get a cure? Was she ever implanted in the first place? Maybe not. Maybe she was never implanted because she was never in that room where now Ada was. More shotgun ammo that I'm not going to use. I mean, it's what I have on me. But I think I'm just putting the shotgun away. And the Matilda. Where is it? Oh, it was already here. Right. Oops. Because you run out of space. So it just wasn't on my bar because I had too many weapons. Uh, 
equip. Well, I want you to hot uh, shortcut up. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't on. It wasn't on my hotkeys. As it goes. All right. So, bloop, bloop, bloop. I still have one wooden boards. <laughs> I don't know, three defense boosting upgrade items. Got my mag, got my flamer. Need a fourth slot for the minigun anyway. Max out the stack of flash grenades without overstacking the other things. Two bullets, they'll run out though. Maybe. Sure. It's probably fine. It's probably fine. Oops. Hmm. They did give me just enough to make another few. That's probably about right, I'd say. Cool. Now I'm fully healed, got the defense bo boost, got four healing items, a bunch of ammo that I probably won't use because I get a minigun anyway. I was just thinking about you. That makes two of us. Just some pawn to you? Look, I'm just doing my job. And I'm doing mine, so drop that damn gun! I'm taking you in. Hand over the sample, Leon. I don't want to hurt you. And you shoot me. But I don't think you can. yourself, Leon. No!
Well, that raises some questions. <laughs> when you're someone who didn't play this game first. Oh, I, I'm always surprised when this thing goes down. Because we're underground, so I'm like, obviously we escape by going up, right? We gotta get to, like, a tram. That's... Hello, Stranger Things Season 2. Bye! So we have at least one fight coming, unless they- unless anything changes about the Gatling gun fight. But then also we have, like, a true ending? There's supposed to be? That's supposed to be the, what happens when you play both campaigns? Which makes sense, because the first, uh, Claire A ended so abruptly. It was like, we're out of cutscene. It's just smash cuts to the credits. Who's that? Yeah, but the whole place is coming down. Listen to me. You need to get out. Fast. Yeah. There's a way out. We can make it. Where are you now? Claire, are you still there? Leon? Hey, Leon, you're breaking up. Forget about me. Just get out of here. Damn it! I have questions about how a closed network local connection is having signal problems or whatever. Like, what what is the basis of this network if it's not working? Oh, right, aren't plant monsters gonna jump at me? Oh, yeah, it's eight point. Let's see. Let's uh, dump some stuff because I'm gonna have more stuff coming anyway. I don't want to have. Run out of inventory while I'm picking everything up, just in case. But I also have questions about, like, how did she get down here? I had to do so much shit to, to get the level 4 bracelet to get down here. How did she get down here? Did she fall in a hole? And then just, like, she's just here now? Like, whoa, crazy. I imagine she has Sherry. Because they know that Sherry is at the very least in Resident Evil 6. So they can't, like, not... They have to come up with the white how they have to have her escape in both paths, I imagine. Ah! Bloop, 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 bloop. Hi there. Bloop, 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 bloop. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna use these. I'm running out of game. <laughs> Might as well. Bloop, 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 bloop. I don't know why I'm making that sound though. <laughs> Anyway, bye. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. He doesn't even do like the Arnold Schwarzenegger line or something where he doesn't go all ah! He's not He's not just like, chew on this. <laughs> I wish I had the shotgun. I just realized this area is full of zombies that are specifically easy to get rid of with the shotgun. When you're trying to get them out of your face. So that's like the tyrant's signature move, huh? It's like grabbing somebody's head and just squeezing it till their eyes pop out. Judging by what happened to their journalist. Poor journalist, just trying to do good work. Very dead. Because I don't think we have any reason to think he's anything other than just a journalist that was actually there to, you know, do his job. Because he was, he was arrested by the guy that we know is the super bad guy. Joints plug. 
Is this the same elevator? Wait. Does this look like a different place than what? Is this the same place I used the plug before? I thought that was the chain gun room. I don't know. This part went by really fast. Wait, what? There's a, the tyrant is on fire now, boss fight. Uh, more fire. Ow. Oh. Oh, oh no. It's got some reach to him. Be on fire more, please. Good. God damn, Leon, you are the slowest creature I've ever played in a game. And I played Claire. Run! Oh, there's a wall. <laughs> it's a small arena. God damn. It is very hard to aim a gun at a boss in this game and then also run away when they start attacking. Ooh, a rock. Oh no. <laughs> no rock. What's he doing? Oh boy. Oh no, he's doing the anime attack. Oh. Oh. I got murdered by the anime attack, where he, he like, draw, drags his claws on the ground. Which, of course, in anime terms, makes the, the attack stronger and not, you know, the opposite, which is what actually happens. <laughs> Somehow, the act of dragging on the floor makes your swing stronger? <laughs> Attention. Oh. I thought the, uh... Anyway, let's use the- let's finally use the- the mag shots. I thought that the, uh... I still had to pick up the plugs and I didn't. Let me- there we go. Boop! 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 Oh no! <laughs> I'm out of boops! Oh boy! Leon! Doing the superhero landing. Oh boy. What do I? What the fuck do you want from me? What? It's not like Leon can go faster. Am I supposed to dodge it or not? Uh, what am I? Self-destruct sequence initiated. Use the central elevator to evacuate I don't know, man. He's just one-shotting me with a super attack that comes out of nowhere. And all I can... If something charges you in a video game, you're supposed to run in a perpendicular direction to avoid the attack. Which doesn't work. So, what else can I do? 
Maybe I need to save the boop for that moment and then shoot him in the head or the heart with the magnum. Right, let's skip. Oops, that's the wrong gun. I don't know what the range of this gun is. Owie, that's a bad start. I'm running full speed, son of a bitch. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> that was a mistake. Oh, oh, no. Rock between us. Did I just... I just flamethrowed the rock. I guess that makes sense. A rock can't really burn like that necessarily, but a chemical... A flamethrower is a chemical thrower. You're throwing chemicals that burn. So you, you just put the... You put the burny stuff on the rock. Uh, no, you equip. That's what I had to do, right? Oh, he had a long jump. That's a big old jumpy jump. I don't know if I need to do any of that stuff right now. Oh boy. Will you die? All right, so we learned not to use the magnum until necessary. Oh boy. Man, he's not slow. <laughs> I'm still not red. Nope. Ah, fuck, I'm pressing all the wrong hotkeys. Uh, is it equipped? I guess it is, yeah. God damn. Maybe I don't have to do the other fight. It wasn't very fun, so I don't really want to do it anyway. Who's a bullet sponge? Yes, you are. Man, you can compete with a Resident Evil 6 guy in the Bullet Sponge Olympics. Oh, the level's smaller. The level's getting smaller. But his attacks are getting weaker. <laughs> Just like Resident Evil 1. How the fuck did you survive that jump? Oh no. I'm about to regret something right about now. Okay, I need a camera that I can see with. Thank you. Boom! Oh, he's out of torso. He, he ran out. <laughs> You should have stocked up on torso before the torso drought happened. Ah, hello convenient elevator. Alright, that was too- Don't talk over yourself. Wait, let's not do that. I mean, it's funny, but let's not do that. Uh... Can you guys not? They're all dying in one hit. It's almost like they're fodder enemies you have to get past very quickly. Shit. Get out of here.
I can't believe I actually miss her. Literally, the next door won't open because he threw that away. <laughs> what are you doing, you lunatic? <laughs> Like I said, we would. Who's this? This is Sherry. Okay. Jesus. What was that? I don't know. I'll go. Take care of Sherry. What? This is Sherry. Okay. <laughs> what a response from Leon. <laughs> Oh, she's got a kid now. Is <laughs> basically what the, the reaction. <laughs> like, what the fuck, Leon? <laughs> oh, you can't just do that. It's not. It's not a nice response to have. Blah, more of those. More of those. Bring the shotgun back. I don't have any Matilda shots. There we go. All these slots got to go somewhere. Let's reload everything. Oh, you're out of ammo completely. You might get more ammo though, let's not put that away. There very well might be more grenade- more... RPG shots. Or more flamer ammo. Also, I don't know what I'm gonna do with those inventory slots anyway. Hi. This is Sherry. Okay. <laughs> Did they not have a recorded voice line for that moment and they just plugged one in because that didn't actively contradict it, I guess? I don't know. Is that the only thing I get is two large fuels? Oh, yeah, a knife. Are you gonna... Let's see. That's all I have is two large gunpowders. Oh, that's a lot. Alright. Guess we're bringing the Matilda back. Even though I don't have a slot for it. I guess, uh... Shortcut you. Maybe the minigun doesn't happen. I thought that the, uh, I thought that the minigun fight where you're running in circles around the train car as he keeps climbing over a wall like a weird video game character, uh, was the worst fight in the entire game, so I'm not bothered by skipping it in this campaign. I think the Tyrant fight was better, even though it had a weird gimmicky instant kill that you can't know you can't dodge until it's, you, until trial and error. Uh, I probably still want a grenade. Uh Nah. <laughs> I have no idea what to hold on to. Oh, my health's not full. Might as well use this then. What do we got back here? No. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, fuck you. Alright. Full, uh, full bullet spam. You have a problem with death? Accurate. You know what? No, big, big gun. Boom. That didn't really work the way I hoped it would. Uh. Birkin, chill the fuck out, man. Oh, it's... It's its body is like flowing. Uh. Also, this is the wait. This this is the same ending. Oh god. Magnum shots. This is the same ending as seven. I've done this already. Oh.
So, are you guys like boyfriend and girlfriend? No, we're just. Uh, well, we actually just met last night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would have been one hell of a first date, though. Yeah, you have no idea. Look, he might be able to give us a ride. <sighs> what if it's not just the city? Get Cherry out of here. Come on. Is it over? I don't know. But if it's not, we'll stop it. Whatever it takes. Yeah, you're damn right we will. As long as we stick together, we'll be fine. Come on. Hey, you guys can adopt me. <laughs> adopt uh, <laughs> We can get a puppy. A uh, puppy? And a parrot. Parrot. <laughs> I always wanted pets, but my mom said they're too messy. Uh. Next up on this boring Wednesday is a song to get your blood pumping. What a weirdly cheery ending. First of all, there's a little like if, if, when you play as a uh, when you play as Claire, you think that they're being all like flirty and stuff, but then you play as Leon and he actually spends the entire campaign kind of hitting it off with Ada instead of Claire. And so when she's like, it would have been a hell of a first date though, he's like, yeah, yeah you have no idea. And it's because he, he just had way more of that experience with Ada than Claire, despite the kind of ending. But the weird thing about the ending is that the kid is so cheery and I'm like, does, does she know her family is dead? Like they just died, like, like, like that was her. Her mom got, her mom got horribly beaten to death by her monster dad, who then died in that explosion. Like, her being like, "You can adopt me!" <laughs> I'm like, it's literally today your parents died. Uh, maybe not in front of you in this campaign because I'm Leon instead of Claire, but I think this can this ending might play in both endings. Whether you play do Claire or Leon as the B ending. In fact, the uh, them being together in the ending, like as if they have like they know much about each other, is kind of iffy in general. Because like I this that walk is probably the longest they've ever been together. Leon saves Claire, uh, or like meets Claire by shooting that one zombie at the gas station, and they drive into town. So we don't know how long that drive was. So maybe they off-camera developed chemistry but basically they're in a car crash they see each other through the gate and then like at the end of the entire thing they see each other through the computer and then they run off and survive together but like they that whole like like the whole chemistry thing that happens in movies where like a couple of characters will survive all this hardship together and like develop some sort of attraction along the way like doesn't work because they weren't anywhere near each other the entire game until the they they just bookended the game basically, so it's it's, it's so it's slightly weird, but the kid is so, her performance like it's just so strange like I guess I get it that they want to ha end it on a happy note, but uh the kid's maybe not the most uh, the right person to be cheery in this situation because these two just like had a big badass action night of surviving horrors and got out alive and I don't know at least in at least in movies it's kind of normal for someone to be all like weirdly Nathan Drake chipper about the whole thing despite the you know potential trauma they've been facing but the kid just lost both of her parents in the last hour <laughs> like holy crap uh I don't know if I buy that's like it's just a really weird uh shift I'd, I'd expect the kid to be like catatonic despite the happy ending right now. Uh, but yeah. Also, that guy just drove into Raccoon City, didn't he? So he's got to have a hell of a time when he gets there. I guess he hasn't heard. Uh, he really should have stopped. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's how the infection gets out. Maybe Ada gets on that. Maybe Ada ends up getting on that. Because apparently Ada's alive. Because uh, video games, anime stuff. 
She got shot and she fell like 10 stories in an open void, but she's fine enough to just like throw a uh, an RPG and so on, and then presumably escape the facility to be in Resident Evil 4 and 6, if not other games, I don't remember. Uh, hmm. That happened. Uh, just trying to think about if there's anything really to say overall. Uh, definitely, like, that final fight, they saw, somebody saw the thing <laughs> and just made a horrible flesh beast monster, which is where they were kind of going with each iteration, but especially that version was, like, it was just incomprehensible flesh, like the dog kennel scene in the thing, and Leon had a bad plan there. First, I guess it's, I, I get that it's a, it's schlocky action cheese, the way that he, like, the final blow is he stabs it with a pipe, even though he was just shooting it with missiles and, and guns, which would obviously be more damaging than, like, a, an attempt to physically jam a pipe in there. Uh, but specifically, what bothers me, what, 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 what makes me recoil from that approach to dealing with the monster is just the fact that if something gets, whenever, whenever a human or any creature really has, like, any kind of irritation or damage or pain around their eye, the first reflex is to jam your eyes closed. Uh, we've all experienced this. So I would not want to put my arms on a melee weapon, stabbing into an eye that it, where the entire eyelid is covered in giant fang claw teeth things. Because <laughs> my first my first reaction is, if you stab that thing in the eye, that eyelid is going to cut is going to bite your arm off. <laughs> That's exactly what I figured. But weirdly, that was the one creature ever in the history of anything, basically, where the reflex of being stabbed in the eye is to open its eye even wider, apparently, and not at all blink, uh, which is definitely what would have happened. Uh, it was a weird move. Also, freaking damn, Claire is like... First of all, like, Claire is, basically is the real one who wins the boss fight because Leon's placed, blasting all of his ammo down this hallway basically pointlessly, whereas Claire just actually just disconnects the train car and just wins the fight completely separately. But it's, uh... I was, I was like, damn ruthless when she was uh, disconnecting the train car while he was clearly still on it. <laughs> and I'm like, is he gonna, is this, is he gonna move? And then Leon's moving towards the enemy with the pipe. I'm like, what are you doing? The train car is going to go. Uh, but she, uh, that was, that was happening. But anyway, yeah, Resident Evil 2 is, is fun. It's, it's, an, it's neat. It's fun seeing this cross between the design sensibilities of the original Resident Evils, but the gameplay of more recent ones, but in service of a series still having the general feel of the old games instead of the new ones, especially the, especially five and six that I just don't really want to see more of. Uh, specifically, uh, being in a bunch of linear crap, mostly just fighting your way through hallways against zombies, that's not fun. Like, in Resident Evil 6, in many cases, your goal more or less is just to shoot everything until it's dead, and then move on to the next room to shoot everything until it's dead. And it's really boring, because uh, killing all of the zombies is not what's fun in... <clears throat> in 2, or 1, or 7. The general thing is trying to get from point A to point B with whatever resources you have in sort of a struggle situation. Uh, and so, like, if, if you're gonna do a co-op game in this genre, being able to, like, stun enemies with limited resources and fend them off for a moment so that you and your ally can try to get through, or doing roundabout things of, like, one of you hurting someone in one direction while the other one operates some kind of device, or, like, some kind of co-op that involves being more thoughtful is more interesting. Kind of like maybe what Resident Evil Revelations 2 was going for, and that at least you were doing more interesting co-op actions than just shooting them all to get butt together, like in Gears of War. Because let Resident Evil being Gears of War is boring, and that's why 6 was boring. I can't speak to all of 5, but I bounced off it immediately, because I because it looked like Gears of War, but less good. And that what Gears of War is, basically. Uh, maybe I'll get around to playing it with somebody as I go through the series here. I might cover both 5 and 6 in co-op at some point. If this series, if I keep covering all the Resident Evil games over time, we'll see. Uh, and we'll see. But yeah, uh, I think the primary goal 
should be about traversing this big environment in order to accomplish tasks while having dwindling resources and constantly maintaining that that edge of risk reward where you're like I don't know should I shoot this thing or should I try to run around it or should I shoot it with the big gun or the little gun or like all these different gambles and so on uh, and anything that adds to that is good so specifically, Lickers and the Tyrant are pretty cool elements of this game. And they specifically contrast with each other in, in some interesting ways. Because oftentimes the best way to deal with a group of zombies is, may, is to avoid them entirely or maybe shoot them like once and then just dodge around them and move on. But running or, dodge, running or shooting both attract any Lickers in the area. So then you have an additional variable to question about how you're going to handle this this room if it has both liquors and zombies and it gets even worse when there's a tyrant because specifically the tyrant uh if the tyrant is chasing you you can only escape him by running away and you have to actually run or i've heard that you can like attack him and stun him for a little while and so on but both of those are noise makers which isn't a problem for the liquors but also with both the uh with, all, with both the Tyrant and the Lickers, there's an element of, like, you need to try to be quiet and walk slow and stuff, which is the opposite of what works against the zombies. If the zombies are after you, you need to try to avoid them or shoot them, and that will cause both of them to come after you. If Lickers are in the room, they'll come after you, whereas if the Tyrant is just anywhere in the area, he'll kind of hear you and come after you. And, like, those are interesting elements to have to weigh against each other. And, like, those are all interesting. I just, I just want to be thinking all the time, basically. Uh, and that's the that's the biggest difference between Resident Evil 1, 2, and 7 that I've played. The remakes of 1 and 2 and 7. Not the remake of 7, the actual 7. Uh, versus when I played 6, is that I'm thinking all the time. Where am I going to go? What's my path going to be? What weapons do I need to have on me? And how much inventory space should I dedicate to healing items and ammo? Uh, versus what I think I might encounter along the way. All these kinds of things of like problem solving and thinking on your feet and having to adapt when surprises happen. Like when they spawn a new enemy in a hallway that's supposed to be clear. Oh, that place is fine. Oh no, there's a hunter here now. A hunter just beat down the door. What's happening? And like, or like a liquor bursting through a, uh, the uh, interrogation glass and stuff like that. Like there's these surprises make you react and think on your feet and adapt to do a new thing now. And like that, none of that happened. In, in Resident Evil 6, I just walked down hallways and shot everything for the most part and it was designed to be played like Gears of War which is why it was so uninteresting and it had boss fights that you just mindlessly plugged bullets into and that's why it's the only game I've ever fallen asleep during a boss fight in except maybe I might have fallen asleep once during a, a turn-based JRPG at some point but that's kind of different expectations falling asleep during a very long turn-based game of anything like Civilization or Final Fantasy is more believable than like oh yeah i fell asleep during this real-time action game where you shoot things with guns because i was just i slowly drifted off there's that ada wong helicopter boss fight blah but anyway we're not quite done here i need to figure out what to do with this time slot uh, uh we'll see <clears throat> there is there's like additional runs of some sort in this game. Let's see. Oh, so now I've unlocked second run for Claire. So you can go straight to second if you want to. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. There we go, extra modes. So there's extra modes I can do. There's the fourth survivor thing. There's some other stuff that I think unlocks later too. And there's also these guys. So there's three ghost survivor free DLC things that have now come out. I think this was supposed to be non-canon versions of what happened to characters that died in the game. Specifically, this would be one of the soldiers we probably saw dead somewhere. We saw the we saw this guy probably shoot himself, and uh, she was the one. I believe she's the one that was dead on the table in the police chief's uh, orphanage experimentation room. So there's like alternate scenarios where you like go survive as them or something. Uh, there's a decent chance I'll play some or all of these, but we'll see. Maybe I'll have time for one of them before Devil May Cry 5 comes out, because <laughs> it's, it's like a day from now. We'll see. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.